Welcome back, folks, to Emerald Predator Hunt here in Emerald Lake Fish and Planet. And uh, this is where you're going to co focus on getting points for pike and perch at uh, Emerald Lake. You can only float fish, uh, and you basically want to focus on chain pike. This is the setup that I use, guys, right here. It is uh, a Phoenix with the spot reel floral line and, and any large bobber will work it doesn't have to be the x series but the big thing is the one o hook and uh, the large minnows and if you're doing the amateurs the shiners will work too or the low level one whatever minnows of some sort will work uh, just keep in mind the smaller the minnow or shiner you use the uh, more you're going to get for like redfin and grass pike here. So what you're going to want to do is before you go into the comp, you're going to want to clip your line at 101. I do this one a little different than other people. The spots are very similar to what everybody has seen at Emerald Lake over the years. So I can't really give credit to anybody because it's basically the same as what everybody's done. But we're going to spawn over here on the left side. And what we're going to do is we're going to walk all the way over here until we can't any farther. We're going to look down, and you're going to see the pole is going to sway a little bit, and you want to be on the right-hand side over here of that orange little bush right there. And I will zoom in just so you can see it. And this one will take a little bit of practice, but eventually you'll be able to come here and get there. But the reason I do it from this side is it is a lot shorter cast, and you want your depth to be one oh, or, uh, 100 centimeters, 40 inches, works all the way to uh, 30 inches or 76 centimeters, guys. Anywhere in that range will work pretty good. And you won't be able to see it, but you'll get used to the spot. And what you can do is to make sure you're casting in the right spot is after you catch a fish, you can mark it and go ahead and look. Um, and you're going to be trying to aim for this mark right here and you're gonna go ahead and uh, it is uh, negative or 10.9 and negative 53.3 and then you can just check if you're casting to the right spot that's the only part that's gonna really need practice I will give you these other marks too that you can go ahead and put on your map um, Seven, and you can pause these and put these on your map if you'd like. And just so you know, this is a comp that I do very well at, actually. Uh, haven't done it much recently, but you can get as high as, I've gotten as high as 380 doing this way. And on the rainy day, as high as 310. Uh, one thing to note, you want to stay at every spot for either two trophies or 10 minutes. And a lot of times you'll get your unique there. Then for spot two, I do this one a little bit different than everybody else uh, right here. And I do want to thank Derek for this new way of uh, coming off the dock over here. Uh, we're going to come over here and we're going to go ahead and park right on this dock right here. And like I said, you're probably a better driver than I am, so keep that in mind. <laughs> I just go really fast, get there hard. And then you can see it, that mark right there through there. And then this will shorten your distance even more instead of casting over from that island. Um, and that spot too, you can get two trophies. And if you haven't caught a unique here, you can catch a unique here as well. And as you can see, you can we can see that mark right up through the weeds over there. And you can cast that over here too, and it's short. But if you don't feel comfortable, you can cast both of these spots on this side of the island once we get over the tree but you can actually do it from over here but um, I try to be as efficient as I can and the cast distance are shorter from that dock you can't see as well but they are shorter and uh, this is how I recently started getting better so that's spot two right there and then spot three, if you want to see them a little bit better, right in front of that tree. And it can be anywhere. 
Honestly, spot three can be anywhere in front of these lily pads. There's not just one spot that works really well, and you can even throw into the lily pads as you if you want. I generally will clip my line just so that it can't go into the lily pads and get hooked. Um, but that being said, guys, hopefully this helps you out. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. <laughs>